New tonight, a family's life together hangs in the balance. Stricter immigration enforcement means detention and possible deportation to Mexico for one of them. Channel 5's Carolina Cruz found out what changed. To me, I felt more normal, mm -hmm. not always having to hide him, not always having to like be so cautious. Elia Gonzalez wants a normal life for her family. He's not a criminal. He doesn't have to be there. I don't think this is fair. I have four children with him. We've been married for 14 years. And I'm a school teacher. You know what's going on with these people? I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm, I wasn't a resident. I was born here and I have rights. And my husband and my husband for so many years has rights. Gonzalez's husband, Manuel Alejandro Castro Ortiz, was detained last week. Castro Ortiz is a Mexican national. He entered the country illegally in 1999. He was deported at least once and re-entered the country illegally within the past 18 years. A traffic violation landed him in ICE custody again three years ago. Castro Ortiz went before an immigration judge who administratively closed his deportation case under prosecutorial discretion last year. Immigration attorney Lionel Perez explains what this means. The prosecutor has discretion to proceed against somebody in his discretion. It's not a law, it's not a, a, a rule, it's a policy. Perez tells us the policy allowed immigration judges more flexibility in how they dealt with those who entered the country illegally. It was exercised more liberally under the Obama administration. Things are different now. Factors that they use long residence in the United States, family that are in the United States that are citizens or lawful permanent residents, health, age, all these factors, and then the prosecutor would say, well, I'm going to use my, I'm going to utilize my prosecutorial discretion and not proceed with the case against this person. Castro Ortiz traveled north with family without any prior problems, according to his wife. This past week was different. He was traveling north to take a nephew to a job interview. He was stopped at the Falfurias checkpoint, presented his paperwork, and was detained. So now we're, we're here, where he's there, and they told them that those papers were not to be used to go through checkpoints. Nobody ever told us that the other 30 or 40, 50 times we have gone through there. Gonzalez says her husband was asked to sign a voluntary deportation form. He refused. Castro Ortiz's case is now reopened. He will have to wait for a bond hearing. He will also be placed on an immigration court calendar again to continue the deportation removal. In Westlaco, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 10.